Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing three different looks using the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. And this is the first look. If you are new here, then hi, I'm Joanna and I do all kinds of makeup and beauty videos. So consider subscribing, but if you want to see how I did this one and the other two, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this first look is a little bit similar to the first one I did with this palette, but it's a little bit less orange and more neutral and is a little bit less dark on the outer corner. Also, I did this kind of more discreet winged liner with the black eyeshadow. So I'm starting with eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Kiko Neutral Eye Base. And I'm starting by creating a transition and I'm using the shade Tenacon. Now, starting on my outer corner, I'm going to build this color on my crease. That is Diet Root Beer. And I'm also dragging it a little bit out like this. On the very outer part of my outer corner, I'm taking just a little bit of my reds here, really just a little bit, only to give it a little bit more depth there. And then I'm taking the same brush that I used for Diet Root Beer and blend that out. Taking a little bit more on top. I'm using the shade Just a Theory and I'm taking my finger for this one and I'm just patting it all over the lid. Now I'm taking a flat brush just to help define a little bit more of the edges. Okay, so now I'm taking a angled brush with my rights here to create a kind of smoked out wing liner. Actually, I think this side turned out a little bit better than this one. Now, I'm just going to complete the upper part with the Kiko Everlasting Kajal on my waterline and the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Then I'm going to do my face and I'll come back for the lower lash line. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm going to do something very simple. I'm just using again Diet Root Beer all over the lower lash line with just a little bit of my rights here, that is the black matte on the outer corner. I'm taking the shade Ranch on my inner corner and brow bone. Just gonna have to 
blend this out a little bit because this is way too intense. To pair with this look, I'm going to use the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01 and I'm also gonna help with lining my lips with the Kiko Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade 514 that is basically the same red color. Okay, so if you have the lipsticks from the collection, I would definitely recommend pairing this look with the Are You Filming lipstick. Okay, so this is the first look using the Conspiracy palette, the first one of this video, and I'm going to call this one the Conspiracy Bridal because I think it's a very neutral and glam bridal look and I might actually want to wear something exactly like this for my wedding. So for this first look I wanted to do something very neutral and for the next look we'll have something completely different. Okay, now for this second look I am completely improvising and I just primed my lids with the Kiko Neutral Eye Base again. And today I have my brushes all cleaned up. You can watch that video up there, I cleaned them the other day. Now for this look I'm starting directly with Diet Root Beer. And with this one I want to create kind of a transition. want to drag it out a little bit. For this look, I think I want to do kind of a halo eye. So I'm going to take my rights here and I'm going to use it on the outer corner and also on the inner corner. sort of blending it a little bit in and also on my crease. adding a little bit more to the outer corners to try and make this look very smoky. Now, on the center of my lids I'm going to use the shade Illuminati or Illuminati. And with the same brush I used for Diet Root Beer, I'm just going to blend a little bit of this upper edge. Now, on the center, I'm going to take my finger and I'm taking the shade Conspiracy. And just pressing it on the center. Blending it a little bit with the same brush I used for Illuminati. Now for my brow one I'm going to take just a theory. I'm going to clean up the under eye area but there isn't much fallout. 
just a little bit in here and I'm going to do the rest of my face and now I'll come back with the lower lash line. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I want to use the shade Not Effect and I'm going to take this shade very close to my lash line and then blend it with Diet Root Beer. Now, on my brow bone, I actually want to add a little bit of the shade Ranch. I think it was looking a little bit too rose gold and I want it a little bit more cool toned. Because now, on my inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Diet Cola. going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to show you the final result. Okay, so this is the second look finished. I'm not sure anymore if I did a close-up of the first look, but let me do a close-up of this one. Okay, so this is what the second look looks like up close. I absolutely love the shade Diet Cola on the inner corner and I really really love the green. And this is also kind of a cheat because green is complementary to brown eyes. So if you also have brown eyes, here is a great suggestion. And as the first look was very simple and neutral, this one is more dark and smoky and the next look will be more colorful. Okay, so for this third look, I'm also improvising doing both eyes at the same time and I've already primed them again with the Kiko Neutral Eye Base and I'm gonna start creating a soft transition with my pills. This one is very, very pale and there is some fallout, but as I usually do my eyes first for this kind of thing, that's probably fine. And now to build up my crease, I'm using the shade Pigment and I am placing it on my crease and slightly above. super pigmented and I love the shade of this. I'm taking the shade Not Effect to deepen the outer corner. I don't want to make it too dark, so I'm just gonna blend it here a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so now I'm going with the shade Trisha, and I am putting it on these two inner thirds of my lid that picked up very well on the brush. The 
this transition here I'm going to blend it with a little bit more of not fact So I'm leaving it like this and I want to do the lower lash line last. So I'm going to go off camera and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so my face is all done and I've also done my mascara. And now for the brow bone, I'm going to use the shade Ranch. On the inner corner, I am not going to use Ranch. I'm using the shade Food Videos. And as everyone was saying, this one kind of blends a little bit into nothing. So I want to try something. I am taking a very small brush with a little bit of concealer and I'm putting that on my inner corner so that this yellow has something to stick to. Yeah, I mean, it definitely works better like that. I guess if you have a powdered base, this will probably not stick very well to it so I'm just blending it a little bit with the pink and I'm doing the same thing on the other side and now for the lower lash line I'm taking the shade What's the Tea And I just used the fluffy brush that I used for my pills to blend a little bit of that lower part. Finally, on my waterline, I am taking the Kiko Lasting Precision Eyeliner in Coal in the shade 03, that is a bright pink. For my lips, as this is already very colorful, I'm going to use a nude shade. This is the Revolution Matte in Chauffeur. Okay, so this is the finished third look, and let me give you a close up. Okay, so this is the third look up close. I did that trick with the concealer to do a more intense yellow, and I think it worked, but it will be a matter if you are willing to do that or not or have the time to do it and I really love how the pinks blended together and I also love how the What's the Tea shade looks like next to the other colors okay so I think this video was a perfect opportunity to play with a lot of the different things that this palette can do because I think this palette is very versatile and I think the only shades that I didn't use were Flaming Hot and Sleep Paralysis. The shade Spiraling I didn't use on this video but I used it on my review and I also used this one on my review. So these are the two only shades that I still haven't used but I'm definitely going to use them in the future. In fact, if these three looks were not enough for you, I'm also going to do my Christmas makeup look using this one and also my New Year's Eve makeup video. So expect to see me use this one a lot in the near future. And if you like this video, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up because it helps me a lot. And also leave me in the comments down below which look was your favorite. And I think I'll also leave up a poll in here. 
and if you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday and also if you want to see those two videos I mentioned you can also activate the little bell thing actually I think my Christmas makeup is going to be my next video so stay tuned for that and that is everything for today's video thank you so much for watching bye